Welcome back. We are still with us some more Africa uh, in the house talking about that social change through business and growing up entrepreneurs and enterprises in lower income areas in Africa. Good. All right, Maureen, just before we went on a break, I wanted to know who is ready from your training program and how to graduate them to the next level that you can Therefore, saying that this person is ready, we can work with their business, and I think they can now sort of graduate to a point where we're fully confident that we're going to move with them on this journey. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so, we have uh, an outreach program, yes. and this outreach program is meant to um, create awareness of the different programs that we um, offer at Somo Africa. Yes. And during this um, outreach program, we have different ambassadors in the different communities our entrepreneurs come from. So these amb ambassadors get to talk about Somo, after which um, when we are open to onboard new and uh, new entrepreneurs into our training program, they go through, let's say, a three-week application process and recruitment process um, where they get to apply for the training program either number one through our website or number two through our ambassador. So we give them hard copy application forms and they get to apply through there. So pretty much what I'm just trying to explain is our due diligence process, um, which is really over the period we work with these entrepreneurs. So if you're joining the 12 week entrepreneurship program, um, this is somebody who has the will and they want to create change. Yes. They have a business idea that they want to grow and scale. Yes. So we take them through that recruitment, uh, go through the interview process, and then they join our training program. So when they're in our uh, training program, Amelia mentioned that these entrepreneurs are paired with mentors who are currently in our portfolio. So these mentors help them through the program. So they have trainers on the side, but then again, they have people who work with them. If they have questions about businesses, if they have questions about what they've covered in class, they have somebody to walk them through. And once they finish the three months, they can now jump over into our acceleration program where they also have um, access to business coaching and mentorship, both from our local team and also an international voluntary advisory team. Yes. So this whole, it cuts across. Um, we always have people out there who because some of these people do not know what social change is, what social entrepreneurship is. So we first of all need to tell them what that is and help them figure out what um, it is they want to do in terms of business and entrepreneurship. And every stage there is additional mentorship, coaching, and market access among very many other things that we provide them. Pretty much. Amelia, this is your question. Um, for, it looks as if you have an integrated approach in the way in which you approach uh, these enterprises and entrepreneurs that you're looking to train. What strategic partnerships have you been forced to make over time? And what would you say? Um, how would you say they have elevated you to the position that you are now? Yeah, so I mean, our first partners are entrepreneurs. As Maureen is saying, they, they work with us in so many different capacities from, from the outreach and sharing what Somo does with their communities so that we get more applicants on board to being mentors to entrepreneurs looking to launch businesses who are going through our training program. So we, we work with our entrepreneurs first, um, even with uh, producing some of our digital training content, for example. One of our businesses is the one who has created both our video content and our voice content where you can dial into a toll-free number and hear uh, business lessons through it. So that, that business is called Portable Voices. You, you have um, a little... As well in the digital... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amelia, yeah, I wanted to ask this. You, um, it's not the first time that I've heard about mentorship and all that, um, because I've heard it from you, I've heard it from Maureen as well. So who becomes a mentor in this program? And why do you have a specific focus on the mentorship program uh, at Somo Africa? We have two pieces of our mentorship program. So one is our entrepreneurs yes. who work as mentors to the next groups, uh, the next cohorts of entrepreneurs coming through our program. So those are existing businesses. We have invested in those businesses and they are running their businesses successfully in the communities where they're from. They then work as mentors for the next group coming through. 
Uh, we then have an external advisory team that are volunteers throughout Nairobi, uh, Kisumu, and recently Mombasa as well, where we bring on individuals that are entrepreneurs themselves, investors, consultants. They could have a wide range of expertise, and they work either directly with the business or they hold sessions that we have once a month to teach lessons on key areas of expertise. So those are the two two different areas of mentorship that we that we have. All right, Maureen, how do I get to join? Can I join even if I'm not from a low income community? And uh, are you the ones who have to accept me in? Can I come in with my business idea? Yes, you can. If you have a business idea that is around social change, social entrepreneurship, we could definitely work with you. Yes. And we work, as Amelia has mentioned, we work with a variety range of different types of people. So you can be an entrepreneur looking to grow and upscale your business. You can be an investor looking to invest in a business or just offer your different skills and expertise to these entrepreneurs. Um, so we work with everybody who is looking out to create change through economic empowerment. Um, so if you'd like to join us, um, you could find our application form on our website. Um, you could also just reach out, uh, reach out to us through our social media platforms, so more Africa underscore org. Um, and we can start this journey together. So in terms of, um, if I can just bring in, in terms of partnerships as well, as Amelia mentioned, our first partners are our entrepreneurs. But we also work with other institutions and organizations um, that can be able to provide either capital in terms of loans for our entrepreneurs or help our entrepreneurs in terms of different stages of their businesses. If, either if it's in production, if it's in uh, providing market access in terms of upscaling their sales. So it cuts across the different phases of a business, right, from growth to when an, uh, a buyer gets to buy from our entrepreneurs. Pretty much, yes. Amelia, clear, clear the conversation for us this morning. Is social entrepreneurship the way for Africa? And what would you say that? So I, I would definitely say from our, our perspective as SOMO, working with the entrepreneurs we work with, I, I think that social entrepreneurship is definitely the way forward to create change and also create jobs. But that focus needs to shift from just a few small businesses that are right now receiving investment and support to looking at the wider picture of all these amazing entrepreneurs that exist who are starting small scale businesses in their communities. So we need to shift some of our focus and financial resources into some of those businesses. Amelia Phillips, Mabrin Morad, thank you very much for joining us this morning to have a conversation on social entrepreneurship and most importantly, Somo Africa as well. Um, thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you very much for also having us. And just one last thing. Um, so for people who would like to um, learn more about Somo Africa, we will be having a holiday market on the 5th of December at the Alchemist Westlands. Um, so feel free to come in, talk to our entrepreneurs and our businesses, um, and also just come and learn more about Somo. What is it that we are seeing in terms of social change and social entrepreneurship? So see you guys on the 5th of December at The Alchemist from 9 a.m. Yes. And, and on that note, we take a short break. Once we come back, Stephanie Wasso with your social media business over the weekend, all the way up to where we are right now. Good morning.